The United States is poised to send a $1 billion in new military aid package for Ukraine, U.S. officials said on Tuesday. The aid package is the first tranche from about $61 billion allocated for Ukraine. Speaking on condition of anonymity, U.S. officials said some of the weapons would be delivered very swiftly to the front line, adding that it could take longer for other items to arrive. The announcement comes after Biden's comments on Monday during the call with Volodymyr Zelensky that the U.S. would send the much-needed air defense weapons once the Senate approved the bill. It includes much-anticipated ammunition, including air defense munitions and large amounts of artillery rounds as well as armored vehicles and other weapons. Weapons and ammunition in the new aid package include RIM-7 and AIM-9M missiles for air defense, Stinger anti-aircraft missiles, small arms and additional rounds of small arms ammunition, including zero. 50 caliber rounds to counter unmanned aerial systems, UAS, additional ammunition for high mobility artillery rocket systems, HIMARS, 155mm artillery rounds, including high explosive and dual purpose improved conventional munitions rounds, 105mm artillery rounds, 60mm mortar rounds, Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, mine resistant ambush protected vehicles, Humvees, logistics support vehicles, tactical vehicles to tow and haul equipment, tube launched, optically tracked, wire-guided missiles, javelin and at four anti-armor systems, precision aerial munitions, airfield support equipment, anti-armor mines, claymore anti-personnel munitions, demolitions munitions for obstacle clearing, and night vision devices, spare parts, field equipment, training munitions, maintenance, and other ancillary equipment. It should be noted that the United States has so far committed over $44.9 billion in security assistance to Ukraine since the beginning of the Biden administration. U.S. aid will be a lifeline for Ukrainians, but it's unlikely to turn the tide of the war. Bloomberg. The United States' approval of over 60 billion U.S. dollars in aid will be a lifeline for Ukrainian soldiers in dire straits. However, according to the American publication Bloomberg, it's unlikely to turn the tide of the war. Much will depend on how quickly U.S. assistance can get to the front line after the House of Representatives approved the military and economic assistance on Saturday. As the package was stalled for six months in Congress, Kiev's military has grappled with an ever more acute shortage of ammunition and manpower while Kremlin forces press their advantage, Bloomberg said. Bloomberg cites Mykola Beliskov, a research fellow at the National Institute for Strategic Studies in Kiev, stating that this aid will allow Ukrainian soldiers to rest a little and help them slow down the Kremlin's advance, conduct effective defense and minimize losses. However, according to the expert, greater assistance is needed to advance further. The question is whether there will be aid and what volume in 2025 and beyond as Putin's strategy is to wait it out. Beliskov said, Ukrainian ambassador to the United States, Oksana Markarova, stated that they had been working on the logistics of weapon delivery all this time. The Pentagon and our defense ministry didn't stop working daily together at finding weapons, identifying them and such packages are being prepared. Markarova said, it has also been reported that some equipment, likely including army tactical missile systems, could be delivered by the end of the week. 
However, analysts at the Institute for the Study of War believe that even if American aid arrives quickly, it will not begin to affect the situation on the front line for several weeks due to transport logistics. The frontline situation will therefore likely continue to deteriorate in that time, particularly if Russian forces increase their attacks to take advantage of the limited window before the arrival of new US aid, the analysts said.